I was driving down the road headed to the location that I wanted to film today when I ran across this place called Pioneer Village. Seems like it used to be a, a shopping area, flea market type place. It's abandoned and it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time now. There's a lot of cool stuff here. So I decided to stop and make an impromptu video today checking out this Pioneer Village. I said in yesterday's video that I was heading down to Florida and I'm on my way you can see right here is the highway right behind me and I passed this place I'm like, oh my gosh that's amazing so I turned around and come back to it this place is really cool and like I said it appears that it was a shopping flea market type area at one time but it also you can also tell it's been abandoned for a long time this is the abandoned pioneer village up here on this building there's some old coca-cola signs up there accumulation of a lot of different buildings everything has grown up but it looks like people would have set up shop and sold different stuff this looks like it was an antique store most of these buildings are made to just look like old log cabins ABC consignment see the doors are open people have been in here messing with stuff I would tell you 100% when I come to places like this that have stuff I don't touch anything I don't mess with anything and I don't take anything from them I don't open doors that are closed unless I'm supposed to although these places are falling apart I don't want to just damage them or destroy them any more than what they already are check out this old fire truck sitting here guys are awesome the Meeksville fire department We also have to be careful and watch for snakes out here in this mess. This place here still has old Coca-Cola signs up on top of it too. I can only imagine one day 50, 60 years ago, this place being open and booming. People coming in on the weekends and this place being filled up with shoppers or people coming to eat food. This place is amazing now, and I can only imagine what it would have been like back in its heyday. Some old farm equipment there. Maybe a drink stand or something there with Coca-Cola signs all over the place. This gazebo, it's rusted, but still seems to be in decent shape. You can tell there's tire vehicle marks throughout the tall grass, so somebody's been in and out from back here this would have been a restaurant at one time the branding iron grill there's an old wagon check this out on the front of this welcome come on in you can see the glass is all busted out there in front of that on the ground in this shop here this one the powell house it says it's completely falling apart there's more cabins over to this side of the entrance there i can see that there is electricity ran to all these buildings so i know they were here at some point after electricity became a huge thing 
the Miraday Kelly house. This looks like uh, somebody could live here. Parking for the guests coming to shop. This one was the Pittman house. And this one next to it over here, the Boswell house. There's an old truck, an old Ford back there. Oh no, this is a really cool property just sitting off the road in rural Alabama. I found out that this Pioneer Shopping Village has been here a long time, obviously. It was used here as a shopping village and then it sat for a long time empty. And then about five years ago, a lady purchased the property and tried to fix it up and reopen it again. But the vendors and shoppers, they just didn't come. So the doors or the gate rather was closed again for the final time. There is so much history right here on this land where I'm standing from the age of the pioneers all the way to present day. It's awesome. It's really sad that it's just sitting here abandoned. There's my car here parked right off the interstate just on the side of the road. That is all of the Pioneer Village. We are getting back on the road now so we can continue heading south to prepare for our destination, which we will actually visit tomorrow now rather than today because I made this stop. We made it to where we're gonna stay tonight. I really enjoyed getting to see that shopping village even though it put me a day behind my schedule that I made for myself. The, the place we were going to that I wanted to attend today, we will see tomorrow. I am gonna put everything on the charger, charge up my Mavic and my camera batteries and hop in the bed because tomorrow I still have to finish driving to uh, where I'm going and then filming and then I have obligations tomorrow evening so I have to leave there and drive back into Alabama and be at a specific location at a certain time so it's gonna be a fun full day tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and end this one now I hope you enjoyed this abandoned uh, pioneer village pioneer shopping village whatever however you want to uh, say it the place was really cool and I hate that it's sitting there abandoned. I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you again tomorrow. I know that down here in Alabama right now during the days it's getting back up to about the, in the 70s which is normally where it's at. But I know a lot of you across the country are dealing with the polar vortex and you're freezing right now. Please stay warm. Uh, you know, I saw that eight people passed away. Uh, I think yesterday due to the harsh cold so take care of yourselves and stay warm I love you all I'll see you again tomorrow have a great day